In this video, I would like to discuss the tax burden of a specific tax on consumers and producers. Now, what is meant by a tax burden? Basically, even though the government collects the tax revenue, it has to collect it from somewhere. Somewhere, someone has to pay for that. And those will be customers and firms. So let's see how much exactly falls on the shoulders of customers and how much it falls on the firms in order to create that tax revenue for the government. Now, this should be a familiar graph from the previous video. It's basically a regular shift of the supply curve by the amount of the tax. We already discussed in the previous video that the tax revenue is going to be the amount of tax, which is the difference between the price customers pay and the price that the firms keep multiplied with the quantity that's being taxed on the market. Now, out of this tax revenue, we want to see how much is a burden to consumers first. Well, this is going to be the amount that's being charged above the equilibrium price. Hope this makes sense. The equilibrium price was a PE and now customers have to pay more than that. So this is a burden. This is a damage to them. This is coming from the customer side. Okay, this difference over here, which is the difference between the price at equilibrium before the tax and the price that consumers have to pay after the tax multiplied with the quantity that's being taxed on the market which is qt this rectangle over here that i'm shading right now is going to be the tax burden on consumers this is going to be the tax burden on consumers i'm going to write it like that tax burden for the consumers okay and with the same logic we know that some of the tax revenue that the government collects is coming from the firms in the way that the firm is actually paying that tax to the government. And that's going to be the difference left between the price equilibrium that used to be on the market before the tax and the price that the firms actually get to keep. This difference over here multiplied for every, so multiplied by the quantity that's being taxed on the market is going to be this rectangle that I'm shading right now and that's going to be the tax burden for the suppliers for the firms this is the tax burden for the producers for the producers and that's where the tax revenue is coming from on one side it's coming from customers because customers have to pay a higher price on the market and on the other side it's coming from the firms because the firms have to pay from that price a share to the government which happens to be the tax amount and therefore that's why the tax revenue has two sources of burden one on the consumers and one on the producers hope this all makes sense if you like the video please make sure to subscribe and we are done